So, guess I'm going to Israel. My bag up there. Okay, perfect. Thank you. All right. Well, that was easy to check in the bag, but I need to figure out where I'm going to actually load it. Although my flight doesn't leave for like uh, one to three hours, I got plenty of time. I can see Rob there. He's coming with us on the tour. Actually, he's the director of the people sponsoring us on this tour. And his uh, wife, Barb, is with him as well. You might be wondering why I'm going to Israel. Well, Friends of Israel uh, is sponsoring myself and another pastor from my church to go on a geo geopolitical tour to Israel to learn more about the suffering, the persecution, and the war that they face on a daily basis. Uh, part of Friends of Israel's goal, and they're partnering with the uh, Zionist Organization of America, who's actually hosting the tour, to try and combat the uh, anti-Semitism that's growing at a very rapid pace uh, in North America and even in churches. But we'll be talking more about that as we go throughout the tour. I'm not sure where they went. I also see Stephen here. He's the other pastor going with us. But where did Rob and Barb go? Hey. Getting ready to board to Toronto. Hi. Have a good day. Thank you. Oh, and there's Stephen all the way up there. Well, we made it here in Toronto. Is that what you're doing with your uh, nice small one there? Stephen wins again. <laughs> You ready to eat? They made it. That's where we're staying tonight. So, made it through security, no problem. So, that was good. Heading now to catch up with Steven, and we get to sit for a couple hours and have lunch. Hi, what took you so long? That there is my plane. Next, please, I'll take this. Boarding pass face up. Alright, you need to sign your passport. Do you have That's good. Pay? Thanks, Amy. Thank you. Next, please. There he goes. Off to the Holy Land. That side? It's gonna be your right. Oh, okay. Hello, you're gonna go down the other side of the boat. Oh, yeah, that is that. Uh... <laughs> oh. <laughs> Oh, uh, no, my foot's stuck. Are you recording? You are. Yeah, I am recording. Hello, Aiden's channel. Well, I we made it. This is the whole Canada crew here. Including myself, of course. How do you feel about being back in Israel? Good? Feels good. Yeah. Yeah. 
we've arrived here at the hotel. Yeah, so we should just be right up there. Wow. <laughs> We're heading down to the old city. We're gonna get some food. It's a really nice area here. Here at the uh, Western Wall, you can see a lot of people put, put their uh, prayers into the wall. But just looking at this, it's massive. Hello, we're in day number one of our Israel trip. We're pretty excited and exhausted. Some of us didn't sleep on the plane, but we got a bit of time today to tour uh, old, old town Jerusalem, old city. And so we uh, came to the Temple Mount um, and went around the wall. We saw the west, uh, the west wall. Uh, right now, we're actually at a cistern in the just outside of the south, south wall. And uh, we got, yeah, we got to see some really cool, cool stuff and some of the some of the wall being from the Herodian era, and you can just tell the difference between the blocks. We'll probably show you some pictures of the difference there. The huge, humongous blocks that uh, uh, built uh, for Jesus' time, and just they're still, they're still there. They've, they've dug it out, and they're still there. It's like 2,000 years later, it's incredible. And then you can tell there's there's new wall that's built yet on top of that um, for more of the modern stuff. But, uh, but yeah, it's been an exciting day. We're exhausted. We still have some uh, meetings tonight uh, to get to, but uh, we're excited for this trip. So we'll keep you in tune. That's day one so far. That there I just passed was a bar mitzvah. It's pretty cool to see. Makes you wonder though, if uh, you know all Christian children were trained up in you know, that much depth and that much knowledge into God's Word be a pretty incredible thing. You know, there are plenty who are, but for it to just be a, a normal thing that's done, it'd be pretty cool. We then headed back to the hotel where we had a meeting in the evening, where we had supper and listened to several political speakers. She said, well, let me give you a quick answer. Politics is the art of compromise. And she said, what are you willing to compromise? So I thought about it, and she said, well, let me fill in the blanks. Heron, Yehuda, Yerushalayim, Shalom, Binyamin, Kevin Yosef, Kashrut, Geus, what? The Rabbanut? What are you willing to compromise on? Our Abayit? And I said, I'm not willing to compromise on anything. And she said, well, remember that going forward when they come to me. So I will try to remain as independent as I can up until that moment when I have to make a very hard decision. This concludes day one of our trip. I won't be giving a day-by-day -day update, but we'll have plenty of other videos on specific topics. Subscribe to the channel and make sure to tune in as those videos come out.